All right, here we go. Our first video. Um, first of all, I'd say hopefully you filled out this chart here. Okay, those are my numbers there. All right, first question asks us what percent of all trucks are late? Okay, so I'm going to go to my late trucks. It said all of the trucks. Um, I got 90, so 90 trucks are late out of the total of 433. So 90 divided by 433. I get about 0 0.2, 0 0.2, whoops, 0 0.27078. Which I can round up if I multiply that by 100, it'd be 20.78. We'll call that 21%. And we'll round to your nearest percentage, okay? If the decimal is above 0. 0.5 or above, you round up. If it's below, you round down, all right? Which city has the highest percentage of late trucks? So, what I want to do here is I want to take the city's late trucks. So, here from I'll show you the first one. Milwaukee, I'll do 33 late trucks divided by 97 total trucks, all right? And then, but I want to do that for each. I go Des Moines, 5 divided by 69, 7 divided by 65, 9 to, 19 divided by 110, 26 divided by 91, and find out which one's the most. I'm going to go ahead and do all that work, all right? And then um, I will put my answers to, to each percentages here for you, okay? I want to pause it, though, first. All right, so here's each percentage. This was Milwaukee. This was my percentage for Des Moines. This was Detroit. This was Indy. And this was Cleveland. So obviously the, the highest percentage is Milwaukee. Again, remember I divide the late number by the total for truck for each. Um, what percentage of trucks to Des Moines canceled? So what I want to do for this one, um, to find out the percent of trucks in Des Moines that were canceled, I would just do 2 divided by 69, 2 divided by 69, I get, um, I get 0 0.0289, which is about 3%, okay? And then it says, which city has the highest percentage of on-time trucks? So again, I'm going to go through and figure out each one for each city and then pick the highest one. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause now and do that. Obviously the first the first one being, I'm gonna do 56 divided by 97 to get Milwaukee and then go from there, all right? All right, so here are my numbers that I came up with there, okay? Um, 58 for Milwaukee, 91 for Des Moines, 68 for Detroit, 75 for Indy, and 65 for Cleveland. Cleveland. So the highest percentage for on-time trucks was Des Moines. Who knew? All right. Um, it is a 13-hour drive to my friend Wally's house. I have driven seven hours already. What fraction have I gone? Well, it's 13 hours. I've done seven out of those 13. What fraction do I have to go? I have six out of 13 remaining. Easy as that. Not too bad. Um, that was a quick one. There are 27 <laughs> cookies in a jar. What fraction are of those are chocolate? Pretty easy. If nine are chocolate. So nine over, whoops, that looks bad. Nine over 27, which is um, one. The rands are reduced and unreduced form. So that's what that Nine chocolate over the total number. Nine is actually three, so that works out. Um, here we go. So I'll simplify each of the following. These are absolute value bars. So remember, if I take the absolute value of a number, it's always positive. Absolute value is the distance from zero. So for this one, I'm doing negative four times the absolute value of negative seven is just seven. So my answer is negative 28. Next one. I'm just going to go ahead and do this first. Probably should have done that already. Um, absolute value of 5 is 5. So 2 times 5 gives me 10. The negative the opposite of the absolute value of four. So that's really negative, that's really negative one times the absolute value of four. All right, so it's negative one times four 
which is negative 4. Absolute value of 62, 62. Negative 2 times the absolute value of 7, negative 2 times 7, which is negative 14. That's a negative 4, by the way. There we go. Um, 4 times the absolute value of negative 8 is just 4 times 8, which is 32. Next one, we're talking about negative numbers. There we go. Draw my lines here. All right. So um, 5 minus negative 2 becomes 5 plus 2, which is 7. Negative 2 times negative 3, two negatives make it a positive 6. Negative 72 divided by negative 8, two negatives make it a positive 9. Negative 5 plus negative 3, so I have two negative numbers here. So I'm just going to add them together to get negative 8. Remember, if they're both the same sign, I'll just add and slap the sign on it. Negative 7 plus negative 9, not both the same sign, so I'm going to subtract which is the negative one. So really, I can think of it like this, 9 minus 7. It's the same idea, so that's 2. All right, that's it for this video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop this one here and then continue on to the next one. Actually, I lied. All right, I'm going to do these next two questions because they're quick and easy, and then I'll stop. All right, so read and interpret the situation by writing a number from the problem and using a positive or negative sign. So I earn $20 and then another $45. Well, that's going to be a positive outcome. So it's going to be I earn positive $65. Now, I don't necessarily need you to write this positive sign here. Only do it when it's negative. Okay, it's a pop, but I want you to identify whether it's a positive or negative outcome. It's positive. The highest tem temperature ever recorded in Chicago was 109 degrees back um, on March 24th, 2015. Where were you that day? I was probably, um, I don't know where I was. So the mean <laughs> annual temperature is 56 degrees. What is the difference between these two temperatures? So um, I'm going to do what? 109 minus 56.8, and I'll get 50. 2.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, the annual temperature is this, so it's 50 to 52 degrees lower than the highest one. All right, so I start with my highest temperature, and this is lower than that, so that makes it that why that's why it's negative. Okay, because I decreased in my temperature. All right, now that's the end of this video.